Sarah is actually our daughter, and I hope she doesn't sound like a man. Hey, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, I am going to be answering your questions. All right, so our first question comes from Maya. Maya asks, Sarah starts to sound like a man. How old is he? Hmm. Sarah is actually our daughter, right? And Seth is our son. And uh, <laughs> how old are they? Uh, Sarah is 14 and Seth is 10. All right, so Sarah is definitely a girl, not a he. And I hope she doesn't sound like a man. The next question comes from Toto. Toto asks, how many channels do you have? I saw another channel, Pop Martin. All right, great question. I have two channels. One is called Pop Martin, P-A-K-M-A-R-T-I-N. And that is actually an Indonesian channel. I speak in Indonesian on that channel. And then I have this channel, which is Martin Johnson, which is, of course, is an English channel. And then Sarah, she also has her own channel, which is called Sarah Johnson. And Julie has her own channel, which is called Julie Johnson. Seth does not have his own YouTube channel. But also, part of our group, part of our extended family, Ferron, also has two channels. She has a channel called Ferron Ina in English and an Indonesian channel called Minami Ina. All of the links to all of those channels are down in the description below. Check them out, they're all good. Here's a question from Andy. Andy asks, any video kapan, yeah? Pak Martin. All right, so Indonesian question, she's asking, when was this video recorded? Of course, that is the chicken head eating video. Man, when was that recorded? I think it was recorded in November 2013, but you can look at the description on that video and it tells you the date there. Every video, I think on YouTube, if you just look at the description, it tells you when that video was published, all right? And so for any other video ever in the future, you wanna know when that video was published to YouTube, just look in the description and it will tell you. Toto also asks if I've ever had uh, Indomie Goreng. Yeah. Many, 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 many times. Right, we lived in Indonesia for many years and we've had uh, fried noodles from the Indomie company, right? For you guys that are outside of Indonesia, it's like top ramen, right? And the flavor is fried noodles. Fried noodle flavored ramen noodles. Yes, we've had it many times. Toto also asked about our train ride to Bandung one time and he says, cool ride. Did you take GoBro? That's a cool name for a train. It's short for um, Argo Bromo. And unfortunately, man, I do not remember what train that was. That was a good couple years ago, maybe like three years ago now. And I have no idea what the name of that train was. It might have been the GoBro. Happy Day asked a question. I want to ask you something, sir. Do you have international driving license? Yes, I do. Question number two. What the most American meals, dishes that you can't find in Jogjakarta slash Indonesia? Ooh, that you can't find. I mean, that you can't find here? That's a list a mile long, right? I mean, that is so long. But I'll tell you what you can find, the most American dish, I think, that you can find in Jogjakarta would be a McDonald's Big Mac, right? I mean, you can't get much more American than a McDonald's Big Mac. They have like um, Pizza Hut, right? But that's not, that the, the flavor's different on that. They've got KFC, but the flavor's different on that as well. Um, they have A&W, which advertises itself, right, as, um, what is it, real American food, I think? It's something like that, something like real American food. It gives the idea that this is authentic American food, but it is way different than American A&W, right? It's not even close to the same thing anymore. Fajar asks Pat Marthen, do you like fishing, mamanching? Would you mind to make a video while you are fishing at Fishing Pond? Great, thanks. Uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. I do like fishing. It's not like one of my most favorite hobbies, but I am not opposed to fishing. And I think it might be fun to go and uh, go to one of these little tiny like fishing ponds that they have around here where you can go fishing. Catch a fish, sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. Fajar also asks, Pat Marthen. <laughs> Just so you guys know, right? My name is not Marthen, M-A-R-T-H-I-N. It's M-A-R-T-I-N, right? Um, in English, if you read M-A-R-T-H-I-N, it sounds like Marthen, right? But I understand in Indonesian, right? Mart hen, Mart hen, you have that H sound there, and so T-H, but in English, it just doesn't work. Anyway, he asks, uh, Pat Marthen, 
Are you dare to eat durian? Are you dare to eat durian? Well, actually, we have a couple videos on our channels already about us eating durian. There's actually one video that kind of was a little bit famous, you might say. It was used by trans Tuju on their program, one of their programs where they like, um, you know, take people's YouTube videos and use them without permission. Uh, one of those programs that they had, they featured our family eating durian here in Joke Jakarta. Uh, it was for a 10,000 subscriber video. And so anyway, that's there. And then um, there was another video where we cut things with a thousand degree machete and we eat the durian that we try to cut open with that red hot machete. And so yeah, we eat durian, it's good, we like it. Slumet asks, Ferron, mana subtitlenya? She's asking, where are the subtitles, Ferron? And uh, that's a good question, right? If you were to click right up here right now, right, there'd be a little, there's a little eye right up there. Click right up there, just touch the screen, like touch it right now. Go right up there, click there, and it says how to um, turn on the subtitles, right? And so if you don't know how to turn subtitles on on YouTube, click right up there and it will show you exactly how to do that step by step on a desktop or on a laptop and on mobile, it shows you how to do that. So. The subtitles are there. Ferron is back from Kupang. She's she's typing up the subtitles. And so you guys, do not worry any longer. The subtitles are there. Just, you have to know how to turn them on. Hassan asks, Pak Martin. And for you guys that don't know, Pak, P-A-K, is like sir or mister, right? It's kind of like, you could translate it both ways depending on how you use it in a sentence. And so here it's like Mr. Martin. So it says, Pop Martin, I've subscribed to all Johnson's fam's channel. Am I officially the Johnson fam's fan now? You subscribe to all of our channels. That is awesome. Thank you very much for that. Watch all of the videos. Share every video with your friends and family on social media, Twitter, right, Facebook, Google+, wherever you like to share the videos. That would really help out our channel. And you know, on Pop Martin, we are almost up to 100,000 subscribers. Maybe next month, or the following month, we'll probably hit 100,000 subscribers. And thank you guys very much for that. If you want to help out, you can share those videos. That helps a ton when you share our videos. And by the way, I think that you are officially a fan now. That's awesome, thank you. So we were drinking coffee at Jayco Donuts here on Mariboro Street, right? Just a couple videos ago. And Michael asks, do you guys know why they call black coffee Americano? Now. I think there's two answers for this. One is why do they, that is Jayco, why does Jayco call black coffee Americano? I think that they're just following a marketing trend probably, right? There are other more famous coffee companies that use the term Americano and they've just used it, right? Because that's a famous word for coffee. But what's the history behind black coffee being called Americano? Now, this isn't like really 100% for sure, but the legend has it, or like kind of popular history has it, that during World War II, American GIs in Italy would water down the espresso coffee, right, to kind of make it like regular filtered coffee from back home in America. They didn't really like the espresso, I guess. And so they water it down, and it became called an Americano for the Americans who watered down the espresso coffee during World War II. All right, guys, that's going to do it. That was a lot of really good questions. A lot of questions that are out of the norm, right? Maybe you guys are getting to know us a little bit better. I didn't see any questions recently about where does Sarah and Seth go to school, right? Um, can we eat rice? Where are we from? All that kind of stuff. Awesome, thank you guys for all of the very unique questions. And if you have any other questions, write them down in the comments below, guys, because I wanna hear your questions. I wanna try to answer those questions for you in the comments. And some of the more interesting ones may make it into a video just like this one. All right, guys, we hope you have a really great day and keep smiling. <music>